the one sentence is yeah. uh, narrative psychology and young adult literature. So I'm looking at um, how, like, what young adult literature can tell us about um, narrative psychology and specifically narrative psychology um, for adolescents. So adults have like certain narrative making skills that children don't, and we don't really know how they uh, individuals obtain those skills. So I think that fiction can tell us something about um, about that process. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's written about like people will write um, that when they they write um, the limitations of their studies or that we don't really know what happens um, in the adolescent um, mind that like transforms them into mm -hmm. um, what um, one theorist, Dan McGabbs, who's the primary theorist I'm using, he calls myth making. Yeah, it's such a huge problem because like that's when all of these faculties are formed. But I'm looking at it um, in a way that's like I'm not trying to define what that myth is. I'm I'm just looking to see what um, what these um, authors of fiction um, how they feel about the myth in adolescence. Like I want to teach uh, at the middle school or high school level, and so um, so focusing on the adolescent um, is a huge. Um, a huge thing I think is going to make me a better teacher, like knowing um, developmentally where um, adolescents are and like and where they're going. Um, that those things will make me a better educator. If I ever return to uh, academics, um, I think I would definitely return to something cross disciplinary like this, where mm -hmm. um, like both um, English and psychology are are being thought about.